Welcome to Real Civil. In this video, we will discuss some of the interesting facts from earthquake engineering. Before that, I would just like to make sure that uh, you should know this definition. First one is the strength. So, strength is a property of an element to resist the force. Okay. And second one is stiffness. Okay, so stiffness resist displacement. In simple word, if I have body A and body B and I want to displace both bodies by 5 mm, then I will check amount of force that they require. Suppose this requires 100 kN and this requires 80 kN, then we can say that this body is more stiffer and this body is less stiff okay i think you got the point next point is very interesting which is exactly opposite of the stiffness that is flexibility okay so these are opposite in nature so as this is more stiff that means less flexible as it is less stiff then this is more flexible. Now, I would like to ask you one question. Suppose if you have two buildings, tell me which building is more stiffer. Suppose this is building A and this is a building B. Then can you tell me which building is more stiffer or more flexible okay guess anyone now i would like to tell you the answer the building a will be more flexible okay and this will be less flexible that means this is more stiff and this building is less stiff okay now I would like to give one example uh, that you can correlate suppose if you have a rod two rods of same diameter then the longer rod will get deflect easily as compared to the shorter rod and same phenomena gets applied to our building structure Okay, so long buildings, tall buildings are more flexible and less stiff as compared to short one. Okay, now next point that I would like to discuss is fundamental natural period T, which is very interesting point. Fundamental natural period. So, I would like to give one example here. Suppose if you have a building here and its top portion you have tied and connected to a truck and if this truck is moving in the forward direction then what will happen to our structure is our structure will try to deflect because in the direction of the force. Okay. Because of force, this building will try to deflect. Now, suppose if we cut this rope, suddenly what will happen? So, our building will deflect like this. Okay. So, the time taken for each complete cycle of oscillation is the same is and it's called as fundamental natural period t so how many cycles do you get within a second is natural period t so for our buildings uh, that usually varies from 0 0.05 to 2 second for smaller buildings smaller or shorter buildings it is 0 0.05 and for the longer it is 2 seconds. Now I would like to give some of other time periods 
from the civil is for you can note it down for single story building it is 0.05 for low rise building it is 0.4 and for tall buildings such as 15 story it is 1 second for reinforced concrete chimney it is 2 second elevated water tank it is 4 second for gravity dam it is 0.8 second and for suspension bridge it is 6 second okay now I would like to uh, tell something more by this watching this example you can tell if the mass is more okay or we can say just mass and another point is uh, just a minute I'll just check that point Okay, generally taller and heavy mass building will have the more flexibility. Okay, now I'd like to discuss very interesting point. I'm sure you have not concentrated on that. I'd like to show you one graph here. Okay, this is the graph that 1967 this uh, earthquake uh, was uh, in South America somewhere I don't know the name of that region and they recorded something very interesting okay now on y-axis there is a depth of soil means below the building depth of soil is given in meter and the, on the x-axis they have given structural damage intensity okay this is means damage intensity and this is the depth of soil so interesting data is if you have smaller building 3 to 5 story building and be below that if you have less depth of soil then damage will be more and the damage get reduced as the depth of soil more means if you have 3 to 5 story building and depth of soil is more the damage will be less and if you have big building that is 10 to 14 story building and the depth of soil is more then the damage will be more this is very interesting thing okay that means small story with small depth of soil more damage tall story building with more depth of soil below it will have will suffer a major damage intensity okay now another point which uh, which is the last point for the today's video is short period wave and long period wave if you have we know earthquake comes in the form of wave if the wave is short then it will affect more to the short period building and if the long period waves are coming then that will affect long period building okay so i will summarize as the depending on the value of t of the building and on the characteristics of earthquake ground motion some buildings will be shaken more than the other okay so this is one way to categorize the buildings from a city depending upon the soil and the natural period t okay uh, i hope you like the video please subscribe real civil youtube channel thank you